Hi, I'm Lauren Seiler. Welcome to this new pilot program called Able to Cook on Orca Media, which will air on Channel 15 Comcast Cable. Able to Cook is a new program that is and will focus on cooking for and about people with special needs. What you're about to see in this pilot is a person by the name of Mindy Sprague. She used to be so afraid of the kitchen, she couldn't even deal with knives or hot objects. Now, she cooks for Washington County. This is Able to Cook, the first episode. Stay tuned. All that and much more when Able to Cook starts right now. Washing things. Yeah, right? washing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Make sure you have the stuff in um, dirty or nothing. Mm -hmm. What made you want to start cooking, or why do you like cooking? Why I like cooking, um, cause um, I'm good at I'm good at it, and anytime I cook, I get excited about it and happy. But mm -hmm. it's a lot. That cooking makes me feel good. Do you follow, do you follow recipes? Or you yeah, like, I, got, I got my own recipe book and I follow it. Whatever it's in my recipe book, I just okay. look at it and stuff. Yeah, I should do. Yeah. I like to cook um, homemade mac and cheese mm -hmm. and, um, and meatloaf because meatloaf is my favorite. I love meatloaf. I have to come back here one day when you do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm a good cook. And Rosie is a good cook too. Rosie's a good cook too. Careful of the blade. Don't yeah. handle the blade. Yeah, you just rinse it off. Just like this, because it's very, very sharp. Mm -hmm. I just I leave it right there. I leave it right there. If I get done with it, I leave it right there. Cause I like to cook. Cooking is my uh, fun thing to do. Well, one of the things, um, other types of things, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, other <laughs> uh, other tasks. Cause uh, I've heard, uh, I yeah. heard that you paint. You've done other. Oh, yes. um, I have like Rosie took a couple pictures. Mm -hmm. The painting I did, I go up to um, what is it? Um, Summer Street. Summer Street, and I paint. And I'm, everybody loves my painting. They go and they like they like what I do and everything. Mm -hmm. She even has one hung up over on. And I have one. I have one over there, hanging up on that wall over there. there right? yeah, I can see it coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Go ahead. And I have one over there, hanging up on that wall over there that me and Rosie did together. Mm -hmm. And um, Rosie on Rosie's phone, she has this one that I did. It was so beautiful. It was a mountain one mm -hmm. that I did. It was, it's very pretty. So then when you're done with that one, yeah. take the... yesterday mm -hmm. and they are for the um, the ice cream sundaes. It is eight cups of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. um, is cocoa powder in that too? Or? Nope, just chocolate chips. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. We do a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. Six eggs, Min? Six eggs, yeah. We do six eggs for Six eggs. Yeah. Um, baking soda. Yeah. And we do a cup, a cup of butter cup or of butter. margarine. Yeah. And they're very, very fudgy. As you can tell by the way the... The, mm -hmm. the reason why I ask cocoa powder is that you know, it makes the extra chocolate. Oh, you haven't tried these. These are really, really, really good. 
We tend to try and keep everything um, yeah. homemade. Yes. Not out of the box. Because that makes a lot of sense, especially here in Vermont. Especially with all the preservatives that are in the stuff that's in boxes. And people might have allergies. Yep. Yeah. So we keep it very simple and no hidden, hidden stuff. There. No what? No, no hidden, hidden stuff. No hidden stuff. Since. What is a typical, I mean. Typical meal? Typical cost? meal cost. <laughs> Well, because, you know, food goes up all the time. Well, this meal itself is $80. Yep. That's not bad. That's typical grocery shopping. Yep. Um, she spends anywhere from $50 to $80, depending on the oh, ingredients. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. To come back for the meatloaf. <laughs> and actually, I will give you a small sample of the brownie. Let's see. Go for it. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Oh. Wow. When when Mindy first started it, she did yep. have like thirty dollars stipend yep. to help, but for that only lasted for like three months, and then thirty dollars for three months. That's a because um, the way food stamps works, they don't give people a lot of. Mm -hmm. If if you're on food stamps, they don't give people a lot of. Food well, stamps. this was this was through the agency. They would give her thirty dollars yep. to to spend on activities. This mm -hmm. one? And she happened to use it for her cooking activities. Mm -hmm. So is that was not done yet. Yep, that's done. Pick okay. it up and put it in. All right, cool. And then. So basically, uh, at the end, you take the husk off. We give it to that. Yep. We give it to everybody else, and they deal with it. Mm -hmm. All right, great. And this is for some some other friends of Mindy's. Actually, every Wednesday, yeah. Mindy has a meal. Yeah. And Mindy's sells meal. it to everybody in the building. Awesome. And it's five dollars a meal, and okay. she charges an extra for yep. a drink. Yeah. And that's how you it helps fund. That's how she, she funds it. That's yep. great. Wow. She takes the, the entrepreneur, huh? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm always careful by the grill. Yep. When Mindy first started with me, she was afraid to go near the stove and afraid to be yeah. near the grill. Serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold on. So it's a little bright. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. And then you close the lid, Mindy, and then you're going to come up. What temperature to cook it at and all of that? Yeah, we, we do a lot of eyeballing, but um, the oven, she knows what to put it on, the temperature to put it on. Does she know, we, does she know thermometers at all? Because we, I'm just asking. Because we actually haven't done thermometers with her because we don't have one. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is just checking to see if chicken... Um, it's pink in the center, mm -hmm. checking by um, using this method. Mm -hmm. Like, you hold the fingers together like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And different ways, you can tell by the density of the meat. But, for example, other states like New York, you wouldn't be able to do that. You would have to have a, a thermometer, thermometer yep. because they deal with uh, temperature. Yep. You know, meat, um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, meat is at 165. And, and chicken, chicken is 165. Excuse me? No, oh, pork 160. Is 160. Chick, no, pork is 155, 150. 150 to 155. Um, chicken is 165 okay. to 170. Now, if you want a steak well done, then it's a little bit extra. Right. But it just depends. Okay. The reason why um, they turn around and, and they instill temperatures a lot. If you can say just don't want to get people sick, period. Right. She does not mix vegetable with meat, pork, and yeah. 80 pounds. All right, explain about the harvest meal. What okay. exactly is that? So this will be our fourth year. Mm -hmm. Every year we donate the money to the Coke Committee to help people during the holiday season. Uh -huh. um, what the Coke Committee does is they take um, a list from each case manager of the most neediest c consumers that they have mm -hmm. and then they try and help them with um, a meal for the holiday um, if there's kids in the family they try with presents also last so you deliver meals to people no we actually give the money to the coke committee uh -huh. and they go out and buy it last year we were able to help 19 families yeah for real. the first year we donated $636 free and clear. That's after her costs. The second year was $856 free and, free and clear after mm -hmm. her costs. We're not really going to mention prices because this is public access. Right. But yeah. And actually last year we were able to do $1,031. 
Oh, awesome. yeah. You can mention that. It's a donation, yeah. Yeah, it's so just it's a nice. donation to the Coke Committee to help these needy families. Yeah. Yep. Because warm clothes and food uh, uh, is, a, is a necessity. A, a very ne- yeah. Yeah. You yep. can't do... You can't do it without it. Right. You got people that are buying these cell phones at huge bills on cell phones and not putting food on the table. Yes. That's and a, that's that's a yes, big thing. Yes, that's, that's a... <laughs> You're crazy. Oops. Oops. Like that. Keep rolling it over. You're good. Just roll it over. There you go. Mm. There's that uh, one. It's okay have a little burnt corn. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a good, yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing. Okay, so roll it. Yep. Now the next one. I'm always K formed with this. Yep. Okay, the next one. Oh, I'm handling good. You can do it. I'm doing good so far. It's okay to have a little burn. Yeah. yeah actually, you want it to because you want it like more this. char on the outside of the husk. Yeah. The more, the, the more it's done. Yes, the more it's cooked inside. So we tend to char both sides and then put it in the cooler. That one's kind of... So roll it the other way if we can't do it this, that way. One of my ultimate goals for TV is to cater a couple there we of go. other for people with disabilities. Look at that. Mindy has actually catered the GMSA um, board meeting yeah. once. Yeah. This one? Yep. Roll that one too. That one will fall. Yep. Stay. It'll be fine. In a lot of different countries like Israel, for example, it is... Um, they, they teach culinary and hotel management for people with disabilities. That's there good. we go. Okay, then close it up, and you're good. Your name and spell it, please, and your title. Well, sounds like much okay, my name is Janet Furmeister, and I am a case manager at Washington County Mental Health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Mindy has been girl, so doing the lunches here for um, yeah. for a few years yeah. now, and uh, uh, it has been great for her to learn independent living skills, for, um, so that she might someday be able to live on her one? own. Yeah, so you can um, can um, but normal. she's learned how to use the stove and oven when she had not been able to do. So in the past, okay. so it's been really great for yeah, building yeah. her self-confidence, mm-hmm. plus oh, yeah. learning how to uh, yep. cook more yep. um, responsibly. She has been cooking really healthy meals. Mm-hmm. Um, today might not be an example of that, but um, it's been great. Uh, Shh, don't say that. It's a meal. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, what else would you like to know? Um, uh, what type of um, uh, position, I mean, uh, so you're a social worker, right? Um, Within this program? I don't know really how to answer that. I I guess we do social work, but... Um, no, what is your title? What is case your, manager. Your case manager. So, you, um, um, so before that, I was a community support specialist, is okay. what, or residential support specialist. So working one-on-one... Uh, we really want to engage our consumers in the community, um, doing what they want to do, mm-hmm. and being a part of the community. Um, so also we help out, uh, there are some of our consumers who live on their own, so I would help out on a daily basis with preparing meals, uh, maintaining a household. So. Or basically ADL skills, uh, teaching ADL skills. Yes, independent living skills and also accompanying somebody to the doctors Mm -hmm. to help explain whatever procedure is happening. Um, As far as Mindy's capabilities, Mm -hmm. so you see um, her, you know, reaching for the stars because, I mean, from what I understand, um, she used to be afraid of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit more about that? So uh, using sharp objects such as knives, she was very worried about doing that. She was worried about burning herself. So uh, she is now able to use a grill, which is absolutely amazing, mm-hmm. in addition to the stove and the oven. Mm-hmm. So um, her, her skills, her self-confidence have just blossomed. It's been great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just to help put, you can put more on the grill. Thank you. By yeah, I know. So it's sugar, sugar then. Yeah, I'm just letting her... Sugar, yeah, sugar. Just a thought, just trying to help. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know everything either, but, you, you know, it's safe, safe, safe. Well, yeah. 
It's nerves. Yep. Somebody's like watching. You got hot dogs too? Yes, we have hot dogs too. Hot yeah. dogs are in the refrigerator. Yeah. Do you want to get hot dogs too? Sure, let me set this right on here. Here, I'll take this. You go get the hot dogs. Hot dogs are in the refrigerator. Yep. I'm just going to move these around then. Yep. Sorry about making you guys nervous. <sighs> making you guys nervous? You're not making me nervous. Making her nervous? A little bit. Because yeah. she wants to have everything perfect. And it's okay not to be perfect. It's okay. And, and I tell her there's... It's beautiful anyway. Yep. Uh, well, trust me, when I did uh, culinary at uh, CIA... Uh, well, there's nothing uh, in there. I mean, even oh, yeah. though mistakes are good, but... Um, Nobody's perfect. And we had, I had to leave that program because my wife wasn't a, a student. Uh -huh. So um, we had problems with housing, so we moved here. Yeah. Okay, man. Right. So we need something to open. Do we have a knife? Uh, can you get one? I can get a sharp knife for okay. it. Okay. Make sure you carry it down. I'll carry it down like this, Obi. Okay. Hey, Miss Dottie. Hi, Dottie. You having you having lunch today? I don't. I don't know if I'll have time. I would like to, but I can't say that I am. Okay. Yeah. It all depends what you're cooking till what time. No, Miss. One 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 thirty. Yep. Okay, then I'm gonna try and make it back. So I took those over. Um, I just flipped over four of them. Oh, you did. Okay. What you can do is you can put the hot dogs on the top. On top, I can do that. Right? And I'll definitely take a plate myself. So. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can. Got to have a plate, yeah. You can have some. Put okay. them right on the top rack. Get, I'm get, get yeah. closer. You can get closer. Yep. Kind of slimy. That's okay. There you go. And if you want me to show you something? What, really? If you turn them... Like they all do it like that. Instead yeah. of doing it that way. You get a little more on there. They do it like that. Yeah. Take this and just go. Just like that. And we also have cheddar cheese or American yeah, we cheese do. for cheeseburgers. And the cheese is all oh, oh, That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's still on there. Don't worry about it. Even if it falls on the next rack, it's still on the grill. It is. Yeah, well, yeah one of the things that when I was doing grill and doing the line, one thing that um, it, it's hard to have grill, uh, uh, gloves near a grill because <laughs> yeah, they they're going to be part of the grill. Yep. They become part of the grill. One more I would do. Last one. Okay. Oh, like that. I think... Do you have one more in there? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, you can do the last one on there. And this. Oh, that was too close. That's okay. So we can take this. Take, ooh, yep. ooh. take the you top. You can take on. this. And just go like that with it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Just, just like that space them out a little bit. You don't want them together. Well, if they're, they're touching, they steam instead of cook. Oh, they Instead do. of grill. All See? right. You're getting grill marks already. So, see how the blood is pooling on top? The blood? Yep. See the redness on top? Oh, yeah, I see it, that's, yeah. That means the meat is cooking through on the inside. Oh, it is? Yep. It is, Lucy? Yep. See, like, right here? See how it's all pooled on oh, top? Oh, see right there? That's blood. Yep. And you can take this and flip that one over. This one? Yep. What? Slide it under. You can do it? You can do it. Slide it right under and flip. Get it ready. Here we go. Oh, wait, flip it in towards. Yep, you got it. You can actually do the middle one. This one? Nope, the middle one. Yep. Can I do it? Yep, you can. Whoops. Uh-oh. Let me help you. That was my fault. That's okay. We'll That's just, okay. We'll just get it right back on there. Mistakes are easily eaten. 
Oh yeah. Now, don't flip those over yet? No, they're not quite ready. See how they're just starting to pull? Oh yeah, but these we can flip over. Right. All right. So those so has a cook. When they just starting to pull, that means yeah. on the back side they're getting yeah. cooked and they're right. forcing the meat up to Forcing the, the meat the, up to it. The blood up to it. Okay. okay. Yep. So like right here. Well, these are juicy. almost. Are they almost completely almost done? Those are almost. Almost. You can tell when they're almost done, though. Really. Yep. They're almost done. They're almost done. Oh. Hamburgers. Okay, and if you, with hamburgers, if you flip them over too much, yeah. they dry out. Oh, they do, Rosie? Okay. They do. Oh, that's it. So we can probably turn this down a little bit. Yep. So, and Hello. we need to have another table. So we can yeah, we do. Up. We do, yeah. Um, Mommy. Okay. Yep. So we're going to put the table right in here. Yeah, I don't, what time is it? 11.31. Okay, so why don't we see if we can get it to... Okay. So those two in the back, they look very well done. Oh boy. You yeah. can do it. They've been all flipped over. Yeah, they've been flipped. I flipped those. I got it. Okay. okay. And that one there. You can do it. Yes, you can. I turned it down. We're just, it's just a flare up from the grease. You can do it. Don't worry about that. You can do it. Do you know how many chefs burn themselves when they first? Yep, you're underneath the grill. So, see right here? Slide it there, push. And bring it out. Quick. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. One more. See, I can do it? I, I know you can do it. <laughs> do the bad one. It's easy. Flip it. Flip it. Yes, 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 yes. You got it. Girl. Please give me a thumbs up. Okay, so do you want to get some cheese? Michael, sure. do you want cheese with your ha you got hamburger? It. Okay. Do you want cheese? So there's American cheese and cheddar cheese. Both of them are in the fridge. So bring them both out. All right, cool. Go yeah, for it. Dog. Do you want cheddar or American? And you're going to have it all, right, Cut? <laughs> And did you say American on yours, or you didn't care? I asked my brother if better. What is your opinion on uh, the whole cooking thing and, uh, 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 and Mindy's capabilities? Yeah, I've been very impressed with what I've seen today and what I've heard today. So I heard that, to begin with, Mindy was uncomfortable around any sort of stove at all, wouldn't touch it, was afraid to try and cook where there was heat. And now I've just, I've just watched her cooking on a grill with pretty big flame flare-ups mm -hmm. and just simply stepping away. And then as soon as she was told it was fine, stepping right back in and demonstrating that she has made leaps and bounds towards, you know, feeling comfortable with the, the work so she's doing. So, with your opinion, she can go okay. farther and, yours. and possibly maybe even do a catering, more catering. I mean, yeah, obviously, with, with the work that they're doing when they do their harvest meal and they serve, you know, 40 pounds of turkey and equal or more, or I'm sorry, 40 pounds of pork and equal or more of turkey, it's obviously something she can do and do more of. Yeah. Go, sir. I'm all about the bright colors. Love it. He's getting the food. Yeah. Butter for the corn? Um, they're getting uh, it out of the okay. fridge. Hey, Miss it? I mean, um, Rosie. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> thank you. Mandy. But every time I...